Welcome to TTI. Welcome to a whole new world of science and fun. <laughs> Today, we're going to explore the 10 most impressive tests with dummies in cars, motorcycles, and buses. Number 10. Safety Belt The use of the safety belt reduces the risk of death in various kinds of accidents by up to 80%. It protects vehicle's occupants from being thrown away from the cabin compartment and impacting against the wheel, the dashboard, or the windshield. If an adult weighing 70 kilos does not wear the safety belt, then in a car crash at 50 kilometers per hour, that person will impact with a destructive force that's equal to 3,500 kilos. Number 9. Airbag The front airbag of a vehicle reduces the risk of death of the driver and co-drivers by up to 30% during a frontal head collision. These airbags protect the person's head and thorax by avoiding the destructive impact on the driver against the dashboard. These airbags fill up with a nitrogen gas within 30 milliseconds when they detect an impact with speed exceeding 3G forces. Number 8 Airbag for Motorcycles In a motorcycle head-on collision, the neck, chest, and abdomen of the rider are dangerously exposed to considerable risk. The jacket airbag absorbs 90% of the energy from the impact. This can reduce up to 80% of injuries. These airbags can be activated with a cord when it is unfastened from the motorcycle or also through sensors. Number 7. Child Seat When the child seat is placed forward in the vehicle and an accident occurs, the child is held by the safety harness and suffers from high tensions on the neck, the spine, and organs. On the contrary, when the seat is placed backward, the destructive forces are distributed all over the seat back. Putting the child seat in the opposite direction can reduce up to 75% the risk of serious injuries. Number 6. Pedestrian Run Over If a pedestrian is run over at a speed of 40 km an hour, the risk of them dying is 10%. If they are run over at 60 km per hour, the risk of death increases to 40%. And at 100 km per hour, the risk of death is near 70%. Nowadays, government authorities can enforce some advanced detection systems that can identify pedestrians and slow down automatically, reducing the chance of a pedestrian being run over. Number 5. Buses Though buses are a means of transportation in which accidents are not frequent, when these occur, the number of injured people could be higher than in other types of vehicles. The use of the safety belt reduces the possibility of injuries and it also avoids passengers impacting against the passenger compartments and against other passengers too. Nowadays, more buses have safety belts and more people use them. Number 4. Limousine <laughs> A limousine with some passengers going at 80 kilometers an hour and in a head-on collision can smash the driver easily. Though the back part of the limo remains intact if the passengers are not wearing the safety belt, they will be thrown away from their positions to impact other passengers and the passenger compartment, and they'll end up seriously injured. Number 3. Ambulance In most ambulances, workers do not need to wear safety belts because they need to move constantly to assist the injured people. New ambulances are designed to increase the safety of their passengers. New systems have been implemented. Among them, there is a system to secure the stretchers and the medical devices, the structure and the replacement of two-point safety belts with other types of belt with more fastenings. Number 2. Collision against a truck 
In a collision of a car against the back part or the sides of a truck, there is a high possibility for a fatal outcome, even though the car is equipped with safety systems. But by using advanced safety systems for lower protection against trucks, which is made up of steel bars, avoids cars going under the truck at the moment of the crash. This new safety system has proven to be highly effective in this kind of collision. Number 1. Head-on Collision Head-on collisions at 60 km per hour against a wall is equivalent to falling from 15 meters high. If speed is doubled, the impact force is multiplied by 4. And if the speed is tripled, the impact force is multiplied by 9. In a head-on collision at 190 km an hour, the impact is equivalent to falling from 145 meters high. And chances to live are non-existent. Thanks for watching. If you are new here, then feel free to subscribe. And don't miss our latest video by clicking that notification bell icon. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace!